Women have made their way onto a global stage in both soccer and ice hockey, winning Olympic gold and countless new fans. Now this month in Vieira, Florida, another women's team is aspiring to do the same in baseball. And leading the charge is a local women's baseball phenom. Here's Gordon Needs with more. Marty Sementelli has been pitching almost from the time her father placed the baseball in her hands. Born in Newton, Marty's skills drew attention at an early age. She appeared on the Jimmy Kimmel Show and was just nine years old when she was featured on Nessun. There's two strikes and they get fooled, then we throw a change up. And they get fooled by change up a lot. I strike out a lot of boys. Marty played with and against the boys from Little League through college. But now, 16 years after showing Doug Mirabelli her best stuff, she is preparing to pitch for the U.S. national team against the best women ball players in the world. Every girl growing up, like their goal was to play in the major leagues, and mine was to play for the Boston Red Sox. Um, but then it hit a certain point where you know reality kicks in, and um, you know now I don't want to even face the guys anymore. I've done that. It's just like you're the only one being watched on the field. Uh, with the USA, it's cool because like no one's watching one particular player. We're all Team USA. It's like we're all the same. We're all girls, so it doesn't matter. The coach, Matt Weagle, gives the U.S. national team another local connection. Matt was an All-American pitcher at Franklin Pierce College in New Hampshire and is currently an assistant coach at Worcester Polytech. Coaching at the college level and you have, I feel like there's always that ego with the men that, you know, you, you tell them something and there's always that I know, I know but, or, and, and coaching these, these ladies, I mean, they were, they wanted to, they wanted to learn, they asked the right questions, they were so coachable. It's the most refreshing and the most I've ever gotten out of coaching, period. Even just watching as Megan gets into this one, crushes it high and deep to right, racing back his shot and that ball is gone! So, I mean, you've been involved now with the national team for the better part of a decade. Yeah. What kind of growth have you seen? Well, looking back from 08 to now, I, I just gotta say that like every year I think it just gets better as far as the competition goes from all the countries, uh, but specifically us. Um, I think more girls are finding out about it. I guess the question I'm left with is, what's the end game for you? My dream role would be to just to do this professionally uh, in our own, like a league of their own. But I know for a lot of these ladies, the end goal is to be able to, you know, say I, I'm a women's baseball player and not answer 55 questions. You know, just be like, oh, you play the game hard, you play the game right. So yeah, I'm a women's baseball player. Bouncing ball to short, a tough hop and a good pick there by Gortares. Can the Americans turn it? They do. I think uh, if you like baseball, you, you you enjoy watching the World Cup and uh, hopefully get viewers out there. You know, we, we get it known and spread out because uh, I think it'd be a big hit. The World Cup starts Wednesday. USA plays Puerto Rico in the opening round. The U.S. won gold in 2004 and 2006. 2016 was the first time they didn't finish in the top three.